this is the first video for the final mechanics topic and it's what we call further kinematics so this is uh, your mechanics with vectors so in this first video we're going to look at vectors in kinematics so if you see uh, here you can see for a particle that starts from a point with position vector r0 uh, and moves with constant velocity v, its displacement from that starting point at time t is given by vt, velocity times time. Therefore, its position vector at time t, denoted by r, is therefore given by r equals r0 plus vt. Right, so any line as a vector is always given instead of y equals mx plus c it's given the, the letter r because it's a, um, a vector straight line so if you remember the work that you did on vectors um, a position vector is always in relation to the origin so from the little diagram you can see and i'll just imitate it a little bit okay this point here is your starting point And this point here is your position vector at any time t. So this is your position at time t. Okay. And this formula here, r equals r naught plus vt, is quite important to commit to memory. Okay. But it seems logical. If you are so much from the origin and then you proceed in a straight line with a velocity, which of course is measured in meters per second over a time, then you will end up at your position. So we'll just have a little look at a couple of questions. Now, because it's vectors, we're going to use both I's and J's and column vectors. So I'll just remind you about your column vectors because some of you might want to work in column vectors. So this first one says find r if r0 equals 4i minus 7j. v is 2i plus 3j and t is 5. Now you can write things in column vectors so sometimes it does make it easier and v is the column vector two three and of course time is five so it is up to you how you go about it so let's have a look at this first one now this first one i'm going to work in in column vectors okay so just work in black so remember the formula it says r so your position at any time is r naught plus vt and i'm going to work in vectors in column vectors so equals so it's four negative seven plus and that's velocity times time we usually put the time at the front but you can put it at the back it really doesn't matter so it's five lots of two three and then again if you just multiply across other things so four plus five lots of two will be 14 and negative 7 plus 5 lots of 3 is 8. Okay, so that is your position in column vector form, or you can have it in i's and j's plus 8j. And that will be meters from the origin. Okay, now the next one I'm going to use i's and j's, so you can see we can convert between the two so it says 5v if r naught is the vector minus 2i plus 9j r is 4i minus 3j and t is 2. We'll start with the formula so r equals r naught plus vt I'm going to put in what I know so I know that r is 4i minus 3j that equals r naught, which is minus 2i plus 9j, I'll put this one in the bracket, um, plus vt, so that's 2v. If I then rearrange that, you can see I get that 2v 
equals 6i minus 12j. <coughs> and therefore divide by 2 and we get through v equals 3i minus 6j and of course that's meters per second. Okay. Now we can also do some problem solving questions with these. So let's have a little look at this first question at this question. So it says question three. It says at noon a ferry F is 400 meters due north of an observation point Z at O and is moving with a constant velocity of 7i plus 7j meters per second. OK, and a speedboat S is 500 metres due east of O, moving with a constant velocity of minus 3i plus 15j metres per second. So it says write down the position vectors of F and S at time t after noon. OK, so the first thing we're going to do is just give us a little bit of an idea of what, what's going on here. OK, so if this is my observation point, at the beginning, OK, the ferry is here, OK, and this from here to here is 400 metres. OK, and that's at the beginning. So that's R naught for the ferry. And the speedboat is here, I'll call it S. Uh, oops, sorry, I need to just move that up a little bit. Right, it's due east, so that's that point there, that's S, and this is 500 metres, and that's where they are at noon. Now, they start to move, okay, so what we need to do is find the position vector of these at any time. Okay, and at this time I'm going to work in, in I's and J's. Okay, so we need to decide what's happening, so we'll start with F, we'll start with the ferry. So R F equals, remember the formula, it's R naught. So for the ferry, okay, he's 400, 400 J because he is due north of the observation point. Okay, plus, and then this is his, the ferry's velocity, 7i plus 7J. And that's over some time. So think about that one. I'll just highlight it over the top in pink and blue. Sorry. So this is R naught, and then it's V T. Okay. Now you can write that a bit simpler if you want to. Okay. Usually what we do is we put the eyes first. So R F is okay. So it's seven T I. Plus, and then it's going to be 400 plus 7tj. Now you could also, if you wanted, write that as a column vector. So the column vector would be 7t and 400 plus 7t. Notice if you've got your column vectors, you don't have your i's and j's. And we're going to do the same for the speedboat. Okay, so the speedboat. So R S, so its um, initial position vector is 500i, okay, and then a plus, and then we want its velocity minus 3i plus 15jt, and again we can simplify that slightly because we usually put the i's first, so this is going to be 500. Uh, oops, sorry, minus 3ti, okay, plus 15tj, I'll put my t first, so tj, and of course that's metres, okay, and again you could write that as a column vector if you wanted to, and that would be 500 minus 3t and 15t. Okay, completely up to you how you write it. Now, the next bit says, show that F and S will collide and find the position vector of the point of collision. Now, 
if they collide, think about here, okay, if they collide in reference to the origin, all right, their i components and their j components must be the same. Okay, so if they collide, so this is part B, if they collide, okay, we can see from what we've done before, okay, that 7t must equal 500 minus 3t, and the j components must be equal, and that's one of the reasons I put the um, i's and j's separate way. Um, 400 plus 7t must equal 15t. Okay, now if you solve both of those, um, okay, so we get 10t equals 500, so therefore t equals 50. Okay, and on this side, if we solve that one, okay, we get 400 equals 8t, therefore t equals 50. So therefore, okay, the things collide. Okay, and they collide when t equals 50. Now, if we then substitute that back into um, one of the two equations, because it says find the position vector of the point of collision. So we're going to sub in. Oops. Um, I'm going to sub it into, I'm just going to sub it into RS. I'll put it into this one. Really doesn't matter which one you go into um, because they're both the same. So RS equals, so T is 50, so it's 500 minus three lots of 50, and that's in the i, the x direction, plus 15 lots of 50 j, oops, 50, and if you sort that out, rs therefore equals 350 i plus 750 j meters, and that's the point at which they collide. Okay. Now again, you could have used your column vectors. You could have substituted t equals fifty into um, the position vector for the ferry. You would have still got the same answer. Okay. So. That is the first video for further kinematics. kinematics.